Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Anchored Advice. This is going to be a Leo reading for February 14th and 15th, 2021. And of course, there's a whole bunch of Leos out there. This is not going to be every single Leo story. Take what's yours, leave the rest alone. Also, feel free to swap around the energy. I could always be talking to a cross watcher or someone that you're dealing with. I'm going to do three more shuffles for Leo, February 14th and 15th, 2021. Leo... February 14th and 15th, 2021. You versus them, Leo. One last shuffle. February 14th and 15th, 2021, Leo. Okay, Leo, forgiveness. So you and your person could be currently trying to forgive each other. Um, meanwhile, right now, you're gracefully aging. You're full of wisdom. You're learning a lot. You could be also choosing to... Uh, clean up your diet, start working out, do things that can, you know, create long Um Meanwhile, both of you and your partner could both be working on grief work, cleaning up the emotional baggage there, cleaning up any attachments. And meanwhile, your person could be working on hobbies. But overall, I feel like both of you guys are forgiving either yourselves for the parts that you play in certain situations or forgiving each other. So let's take a look here, Leo, February 14th and 15th, 2021, Leo, February 14th and 15th, 2021, Leo, one last shuffle, Leo, you versus them, February 14th and 15th, 2021, Leo. And that's the guardian angel in this deck, but with the temperance card, you could be dealing with the Sagittarius, Leo. Okay, so you could be choosing to be patient with someone that doesn't really show much emotions. You know, you're choosing to take it slow with them. But you know that um, you could be already knowing that they are being honest with you. And so that's probably why you're willing to take it slow with them when it comes to them showing you emotions. But with the Ace of Pentacles, uh, you could be getting a new job, Leo. Um, you could also be getting paid from your job. Um, and yeah, you could be, you know, putting in work at your job as well, where you could be starting to clock in a little bit early. Um, you know, you're starting to show up more on time. So you could be choosing to take your job more seriously right now, Leo. Meanwhile, the person that you're dealing with here... Um, I feel like, yeah, they're just coming up with hobbies because they love you. They want you. And let me get more cards out. Yeah, see, they're just choosing to walk away from the baggage. And with the Four of Swords right here, they're choosing just to work on themselves. The Four of Swords is often introspection. So, you know, your person is just working on themselves. They're working on becoming uh, an empress. Um, and it could be a masculine, so it doesn't really have to be an empress. You know, just they're working on evolving as a person. So they're working on being their best self because the empress is someone who's gone through things. You can't be the empress without having gone through things. So your person is kind of gracefully aging as well. You know, um, you're doing that because I feel like you're, you see, eight of pentacles. I feel like you're wanting to take your job more seriously. Six of wands. I feel like you're getting a lot of attention right now in the public eye. You could be getting a lot of attention on social media right now, Leo. And that could be what's kind of um, making you be in a good mood and taking your job more seriously. Meanwhile, again, I feel like your person is just walking away from emotional baggage. Um, they're learning how to heal. And they're choosing to cope with better hobbies. Uh, with the hobbies here, I feel like they're choosing to walk away from negative hobbies and go towards positive hobbies. Yeah, windfall underneath forgiveness. So there's money changes coming in also, Leo. Well, let's take a look here. You could be dealing with, well, the only major arcana we have is Sagittarius. So you could be dealing with the Sagittarius or any sign for that matter. But let's see, Leo, what is the Eight of Pentacles? The High Priestess. So you're you're probably on your spiritual journey, Leo, and that's why you're kind of staying in your lane and choosing to focus on your job and take it more seriously. 
I really don't feel like I need any clarifiers for you here, Leo, to be honest with you. What's the Six of Wands, Leo? Yeah, you see, look, you're happy. You see, you could be getting a lot of attention and that's making you happier. You know, uh, people and friends and family could be giving you more attention and that could be making you happier as well. I just feel like, you know, right now, I feel like you're in a good spot right now, Leo. Um, I feel like you're gracefully aging. You know, you're just, you've, you didn't come to this point and not learn something. You've actually learned a lot, you know? You're just, you're very wise for your age, Leo. That's why it says gracefully aging. A very, very wise for your age, Leo. Okay, what's the Eight of Cups, Leo's person, February 14th and 15th, 2021? Look, you see? Leo, your person is trying to walk away from their baggage so that they can be with you. Page of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups. They want to offer you something. And here on the floor, we have the Seven of Pentacles. Um... They don't want to repeat the past. They're at this checkpoint in their life. The Seven of Pentacles is often being at this checkpoint where it's like you're analyzing how far you've come. So that's where your person is at. And like I said, I feel like they're evolving as a person, especially with the Four of Swords and the Empress right there. I feel like they're, they're, you know, they're evolving as a person. They're becoming mature. They're becoming more at peace with where they're at in their life. You know, maybe back then, Leo, your person was always, you know, like, um, what's the word? It's kind of like always on the run, you know, just always wanting to do things. And I feel like your person kind of took a chill pill and is choosing to slow down and like accept their situation and be grateful for it. You know what I'm saying? I just, that's where I feel like your person is at. And I feel like, you know... They're just developing new hobbies, you know, like I feel like before they thought they had to do all these things and now, you know, they're just, you know, they're picking up some hobbies to, you know, distract them from how much time they have on their hands. And again, in the middle, I feel like both of you guys are overall working on grief work, working on emotions, working on healing. So let's see, Leo, February 14th and 15th, 2021, Leo. One more shuffle, Leo, February 14th and 15th, 2021, Leo. True love. This love is true. Don't think that it's not. This is the romance of a lifetime. This is real love. So Leo, February 14th and 15th, 2021, Leo. In, in the past, it could have been a missed opportunity because there was a lot of um, either this person had children or there was still childhood traumas that needed to be worked out. Your love life is being affected by children. Um, and underneath that, we have worth waiting for. And that could be something that you waited for. You know, you waited for this person to work out their issues, their childhood traumas, their childhood issues. And this person, they do have romantic feelings for you. And they are real and worth exploring. So if this person, you know, once they work on their baggage, on any emotional trauma that they're holding on to from maybe past relationships also, once they work on that, then they could be at this checkpoint and you guys could be in a healthy relationship. Because I feel like back then, this person was just kind of like, just always on the run where like they just weren't sure if they wanted you. Because they wanted all these other things. And now I feel like your person took a chill pill, slowed down, and like they accepted their situation and they're grateful for it. So now I feel like, you know, they're like, you know what? I don't need to have a nice house. I don't need to have all these things. You know, I just need a few hobbies to take this extra time off my hands. So again, with the Empress card and the Four of Swords, I feel like your person is evolving as a person. So they're maturing. You know what I'm saying? They're working on forgiving themselves as well as forgiving you, you know, um, for anything you might have done. Feel free to swap it around, guys. And the huge part is this is the grief work that you guys are both doing while you guys are separated. And I feel like, you know, with this high priestess here, you're highly intuitive. 
I feel like, you know, you could be very empathic. You could be a tarot card reader, a clairvoyant, a palm reader. Take that how it resonates. A light worker. Take that how it resonates. But with the high priestess here, I feel like you're 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 just you're on your spiritual journey. And you're very wise. Very wise, Leo. Very wise. I have to say that. I just I feel that energy is just you're very wise. But all right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and close this out here. If this resonates with you guys, you guys are more than welcome to like, share, leave a comment, and subscribe. Much love. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please take care of yourselves, and I'll be talking to you guys later. Thank you. Bye.